Sometimes things aren't going to go your way. Just reevaluate and adapt. You'll figure it out. Love the sound of crunching the leaves. And they smell so good. Mmm. I wish they'd make a candle on that scent. Falling leaves. Maybe they do. I don't know. So, last week, my mom really wasn't feeling very well, and her blood pressure wasn't doing too, too great. Her legs um, have really gotten quite weak, and uh, the narcolepsy, <laughs> narcolepsy, <laughs> it's not narcolepsy, neuropathy, <laughs> the neuropathy in her legs and feet have gotten pretty bad and she's had a lot of weakness. So uh, when her physical therapist came out um, because of her blood pressure they called 911 and when she came out of the hospital they thought it would be a really good idea for her to go to rehab to rebuild the strength in her legs. I am 100% on, on board with that. Um, I want my mom to be in tip-top shape and you know she was getting to the point here at the house I was at her beck and call constantly taking her to the bathroom constantly but she was getting so weak that she was having a hard time standing up and if my mom were to go down on me she's bigger than I am and there's no way that I'd be able to get her off the floor so, I think there's some squirrels tromping next to me in the leaves. Um, so, she's there right now for the next 20 days. I have been, you know, taking care of this house and trying to get everything together to get it listed for sale. But right now, with nobody else in the house, it's, uh, I need some other kind of routine. I, I can't just be in the house all day by myself and not having anything to do. So, um, I decided to go get a job. <laughs> so the family that I've been having Sabbath dinners with, um, most weekends actually since I've been here, um, she works at a preschool and she said, you know, we could really use some help. Oh, I miss being around the kids. I really do. The last time I taught or was in a classroom was uh, when COVID went down. So I think uh, April of 2020 was the last time. But I am ready to get back in. So for this time that my mom is um, in rehab, I'm going to go ahead and work. So I, I just I need something to do. I have got to have some kind of routine. Um, I'm okay with change. I am very adaptable, but I have to have some kind of new routine to fall into where I feel like I'm being productive. So here we go. Back to work. It's chain 
changed a little bit. A nice college. Here we are. Good old Montgomery College. So in preparation for my new job, which I start tomorrow, <laughs> Uh, I actually left all of my credentials on the island, so I've had to come back to my old college to pick up my transcripts um, so that they can see, you know, what courses I've taken and everything and certify that I have all my certificates. So here we are. It's a beautiful fall day. No better time than to get this stuff done than now because the weather's beautiful and I don't think we're gonna have that much longer. All right, let's get this done. Got that done very fast and easy. So now I'm gonna have to go to the bank to get one of my documents notarized. And yeah, I should be good for tomorrow. I'm so excited. Getting paid to play with babies. That's awesome. Next stop, Sandy Spring Bank. Gotta get my release form notarized. So just when I thought I was done, I got home and I opened my transcript. And I should have just opened it when I was at the college in the car. Yeah, so one of the certifications I got in 2014 isn't on my transcript anywhere. And on the phone, you can't get in touch with anybody. Um, they have several different phone numbers, but every single phone number leads to the same uh, robot. And you just keep pushing buttons and never actually get to talk to anybody. So now I gotta go back up there again, but it's, it's a beautiful day, so at least I'm not riding in the rain, right? The glass is always half full. I needed to go back out anyways because I need to fill up on gas and I have to go to the grocery store to buy myself to take lunches. I gotta get back in like work mode, you know? Saved by the bell. Let's do this again. I gotta fix this transcript. Man, I'm glad it's a nice day. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not wanna be going back and forth. Now I officially have it all. <laughs> Except for that wretched TB test that I'm gonna have to take again. I think the last time I took that was about four years ago. Who knows where the documentation is. So get that done and then I should be golden. stop for the day Safeway so that I can get my lunches sorry I'm a vlogger I still don't have use of everything yet however it's looking very nice and I'm gonna get my power cooker out I'm gonna make some brisket so that I've got some meals for the next couple of days because I imagine that when I come back home, I'm probably not really gonna feel like cooking, you know, especially just for myself. But I wanna make sure that I'm still eating well, so let's get started. Something else also happened last week. 
part of that adaptability helped me find another house on the mainland in Crisfield. So I have a contract in and we will see what happens. But I'm hoping that everything goes well. <laughs> um, I know that everything's gonna work out. I always have, um, I always have a positive attitude. Um, I personally believe that the glass is always half full. Now look, sometimes what's left in the glass might be like pish, you know, but it's still half full. You can take that and work with it. You can filter and filter and filter until you've got something good. So. I'm gonna have some butternut squash. I'm just putting all of it in the air fryer. There's a gummy one, I don't like it. Gross. I'm gonna drizzle with olive oil. I'm gonna toss, shake, whatever. Things aren't going to go your way. Just reevaluate and adapt. You'll figure it out. I am outside listening to the crickets, some birds that are still chirping, the squirrels that are running around, and some hot rods, you know, they think they are anyways, up the street. But it's a very beautiful night. Um, I'm really excited about tomorrow. Like I said, I know that everything is, is going to be okay. I have that faith. And uh, every day I work towards something, you know, that's positive. And in the end, things typically turn out that way on a positive note. So thank you very much, guys, for coming along with me today. I am going to head in get my jammies on and get ready for tomorrow. All right. Peace, everybody. Bye.